Well, first, my hand has to be straight under the ball. Set my hand down, get situated, make sure my shoulders are square, make sure everything feels comfortable. I sit there and wait until I get this feeling and my body tells me to go up and I have to wait for it because if I force myself, I won't kick the ball. I go up, watch for my foot, reach for the ball, and come down in the same spot. NYO are games that were traditionally played a long time ago. Uh, these games were done for survival. Uh, today these kids participate in these games just to test their skills, see how strong they are and how high they can jump, and uh, to pass down the tradition of the games. I first started when I was in first grade. I push myself really hard and I just love the feeling it gives me. The best feeling I've ever had was when I broke the record. I broke the record last year in 2012. I wasn't nervous at all. I didn't get nervous until we hit about 80 inches and then after that I was like kind of nervous but I knew I could kick it. I just kept telling myself I could do it, I can do it. And I just had this certain feeling and I just kicked it. I don't know how I kicked it, but I did. I don't know, it was just so unexplainable. It's like you can do anything you want. Like nothing can stop you. I went crazy. <laughs> I was jumping up and down, giving everyone hugs and I was just so happy. It was a true blessing. It's, it's a competition, but it's also the true spirit of the games is to try to help everyone and so everyone can reach their personal best, as well as yourself. The biggest accomplishment that I've ever got at State NYO is getting the Sportsmanship Award. And I believe you have to just be an all-around good person to break records and have success come to you. Because if you just wait, it will come to you. You just gotta be patient and just try your best and just have fun. When I'm going up, I just think of my ancestors and the people before me that have got this oppor opportunity to kick it and I just, I do it for them. I do it for passed away relatives. I think of everyone that, I, that will be proud of me. I just know it's home. Like, I just feel like I belong here, and it makes me really happy. Every time I try to explain it to anyone else that has no idea, they're just like, whoa, that's so cool. How do you do that? That's impossible. And I'm just like, it's mind over matter. No, I'm not disappointed. I take it day by day. If I think about it too much, I'll stress myself out and get set back, but I think I trained myself to just keep going and not to give up. I don't have the least favorite part. Oh, just being sore. Everything else is awesome. That's why I love these games.